Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Sensationalism may bury fundamental issues in the controversy over leaked U.S. diplomatic cables. Were the cables leaked intentionally? Are dark designs behind founder Julian Assange's prosecution? Which leaders are most outraged or which policy is most damaged? The basic point is the balance between trust and transparency. Perhaps openness is the sine qua non for diplomacy in the modern world and especially for democratic governments. Davidson asks, can one imagine circumstances in which diplomatic interaction necessitates secrecy? I am sure one can. However, those circumstances should be exceptional. They should not constitute the norm, and there should be clear criteria reflecting the right to know what your government is doing in your name. Alternatively, trust is the key to preventing conflict. Just like doctors, priests, and lawyers, without trust, diplomats cannot function. Isn't your notes? Every single league damages or destroys trust, and trust is the single most precious commodity in diplomacy. That is why the ongoing WikiLeaks publication endangers the entire species. It puts the business of diplomacy at risk. In a nuanced third suggestion, Bremer asks, does transparency on a country's views of another make negotiated settlements more or less likely? He answers that it depends upon the nature of the pre-existing relationship between the countries. There is no necessary negative relationship between trust and transparency. What do you think? Employ secrecy to ensure trust? Eliminate duplicity through transparency? Choose depending on the circumstances. This is William Vokey. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.